Hi again, this is Supersport. Okay, this time we're going to um, show you how to flash a custom ROM. This will be one of my auto flash files. Uh, I just wanted to show you how they work and in the future I'll go ahead and show you how to flash a standard custom ROM. Um, as you can see here I've already loaded up the XDA developers forum and I'm on the P3600 ROM development page. Go ahead and scroll down I'm going to find my link here. This is to one of my ROMs I created recently. We'll go ahead and scroll down. In this case, we're going to download the auto flash file. Simply select it. Now on this page, you might have to maximize the window. I've heard some people say they can't get the download. Uh, it's because this little pop up gets in the way. So if you maximize the window, you can see here the download. If you don't see it, uh, scroll like this and you should be able to come up with it. So we're going to go ahead and click on it and save it to the desktop. Now, I've already saved it to the desktop, so I don't want to go through this again. It's right here. Um, but if you were going to do it, just click save and it would save it to your desktop. Now we'll assume that I've already done the download and I'll close this window here, close this window here, and here is the auto flash file. Now, to make this work, um, I always recommend going into the bootloader screen. That seems like the safest way to go for me. Also, make sure you've already previously installed Olipro Hard SPL 120 or 130. I usually recommend 120. It um, doesn't get you into as, as much trouble in the future. You can use 130 to recover after some problem, but start with 120. Okay, make sure your phone is connected to the USB cable and to your computer. We're going to place the phone into bootloader mode, and to do that, we're going to hold down the power button, the camera button, and we're going to press and release the reset button while still holding these other two. So here we go. And the phone has jumped into bootloader mode, and do verify that you have SPL 120 or SPL 130 installed. If you don't, make sure and watch my other video on how to do that. So the phone is now connected to my PC using the USB cable. I'm in bootloader mode, which is the red, green, blue, white screen. In the white area, you'll see USB. If you don't see that, there's something wrong with your connection. You need to diagnose that first. If you do see that, you're all set. So in my auto flash files, what I've done is I've bundled up the, the um, RUU installer file, the um, sorry, the NBH file, and created an automatic flashing file. You just double click it and it extracts everything and places it where it needs to be and it runs it. So we'll go ahead and run it now. It's extracting the files for you. Here's the ROM update utility has come up and it asks you if you want to run it. Say yes. Go ahead and select I understand and I completed the steps above steps above are verifying you have a USB cable connected. Do make sure your battery is charged at least 50%. If it's not, please cancel here and charge your battery before you proceed. Right now the flash program is verifying what's currently on the phone. This phone currently has Windows Mobile 6.1 OEM stock ROM on it. So we're going to update from 6.1 to 6.5. It's found that it can do this. We'll select update. Here's the new image version. Um, evidently I forgot to put a good image number on that ROM, but whatever. Select next. Next again. And you'll notice the phone and the windows are both showing you that it's updating. I'm going to go ahead and let this run uh, real speed so you'll see how fast it runs. I am running it on a fairly fast computer so yours might take a little bit longer. If you notice that it's hung for a while, make sure you wait. Um, sometimes it'll hang for a while and it looks like it's not doing anything. Give it some time. Um, if it doesn't work, it'll finally come up with an error screen for you and that way you'll know it didn't, didn't uh, complete. I take it back. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. It's just about finished sending the ROM to the phone. Now you want to be sure that you get the congratulations screen. 
If you didn't, then something went wrong and you need to start from the beginning. Okay, here's the congratulations. And you'll notice my phone is now rebooting. Now, after you flash a custom ROM, especially mine, um, please give it a bit of time. It, it does take a while for the system to recover and to start installing the new OS onto the phone. Um, I, this can actually take up to five minutes. I mean, usually it doesn't, but I have run into occasion where it takes quite a long time. So do give it some time to finish once it's done. Anyway, so that's how you auto flash. Um, I'm not going to show you on the phone necessarily because we'll come back to that and I'll get into uh, how to set it up later. Thank you for watching. Bye.